tell us how you got involved specifically with this then. Um, well, actually a fascination from my family history. Actually, I was given a, a medal by my dad, which is here on the table, which is my great-grandfather's First World War medal wow. when I was 20. And if you give that over to me, Luke, yeah, hold that up, because this is amazing. Who do you want me to hold that? There you go. So what's, what's this medal? Uh, so that's the, that's the Mon Star. So my great-grandfather was a part of the British Expeditionary Force that went over in 1914, so he's a regular soldier. Um, and he thankfully came back medically discharged, um, unlike many of his, yeah. uh, of his friends and colleagues. But that's, that started my fascination in, uh, in the First World War and being named after, you know, seeing my initials on the, yeah. on the medal, Lewis Walton Moody, give away my middle name there. But, um, but yeah, it started a fascination. And then having played for England and, and walked past the memorials at Twickenham and seeing the names of the 27 English internationals that died. So started uh, researching those, those players as well. It's an incredibly important time, isn't it, for the, the Royal British Legion in terms of the amount of money that they have to raise? Uh, because, of course, <coughs> the causes, often people think it's just about the veterans that are getting looked after. Yeah. And we're losing those. There's not a lot uh, of veterans sort of still there to look after, but it's, it's, it's a much broader church that they look after, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, the, the British Legion and, and the launch of the Bob Bill to, today, um, it's, it's about helping all those servicemen. It's, it's a wider, you know, whether it's through age and disability, whether it's financial struggles, it's, you know, th this year it's, it's targeted to try and reach 50 million in terms of, you know, the amount raised to go out and help and support. Mm. But, but for me, the, the poppy appeal is, is more than that. It's about remembering and respecting, you know, that generation that, that gave so much. It just has that. Um, that date marked on it in, uh, in gold. And I suppose it's something in terms of engaging in that legacy piece, in terms of engaging the younger generation, um, it gives them something maybe to search for, you know, when you're looking out and going to buy your poppy. Um, mm. That mm. bit of gold leaf and, uh, and remembrance is engaging you that little bit more and trying to, trying to spread the word to that next generation. It's about, you know, remembering the, the sacrifices, but also learning the lessons so we never go there again and we don't have that. And what about the controversy? Because more and more uh, over the years it's developed about the controversy around uh, poppy wearing and actually whether you should <clears> be <throat> obliged to wear a poppy, where you shouldn't wear a poppy. Uh, wh where do you stand on that, Lewis? Um, for me, it's just really simple. Having had so many family members involved, also on my mum's side, you know, three brothers, great uncles that, that didn't come back. Um, it's just a sign of respect. It's never about the glorification of war. It's that sign of respect and remembrance because, um, as, as I said earlier, for me, it's, it's really a huge piece of remembering, actually, we don't want to go back and make those same mistakes. Mm. You know, we never want to see the loss of life on that scale ever again because it was a huge tragedy. Um, so for me, it is just remembrance and, uh, and, and that mark of respect that we need to continually remember and pass it on. Uh, we can't have you, Lewis, without, uh, on the show without talking briefly about the Autumn Internationals, of course, which start next week. Uh, interesting sort of um, turn of events from Eddie Jones, the coach. He's given two people, the joint captains, Dylan Hartley and Owen Farrell. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Is there a sense that the sort of it's, a, it's about Owen being given a little bit more responsibility before the World Cup next year? I think so. Um, you know, Eddie's always he's always liked to, to change things up. You know, with his game changers instead of the bench. Um, but Owen and Owen and Dylan have, have been captains and co-captains for a while. It's, yeah. it's not massively huge news to me. But I think maybe it says that his confidence in in Dylan is is wanting to make sure that he's got another option if if a, a he gets injured, Dylan Hartley, or B isn't hitting the standards required. But the Autumn International is going to be so hard. New Zealand, South Africa up first, New Zealand second. Two incredibly tough games and over 20 England players injured on the yes. injury list to start with. So what would be a good result for England? Because we played Japan and Australia as well. Yeah. How, how many would we hope to win? How many will Eddie Jones have his eye on say, if we get away with, with two out of four, that'd be good? Um, I think that would probably be exactly on the money to really? for Japan and Australia. I think, you know, if, if you don't beat South Africa, you're, you're not going to beat New Zealand this year. They're just too strong. Um, you, will, you will sneak, but well, you won't sneak past Japan. They should beat Japan convincingly. Australia could go either way. But if they get a win against South Africa early on, gives them some confidence, some momentum, some young guys getting mm. the chance, Zach Mercer potentially, uh, Tom Curry in the back row, young men getting a chance to play for their country, you know. Um, sport's a funny thing. It can go either way, can't it? But if they get two wins, I think we should be, uh, we should be happy. We should be all right. OK, Lewis, lovely to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Thank Pleasure. you Thank much. you, guys. Yeah, Cheers. He's hoping for a great poppy appeal this year. Yeah, absolutely. Again. 50 million pounds, a huge no, amount of money. It is. And it does so much for so many people. Families and current serving uh, soldiers and, and you know, it's That's just incredibly important. people, doesn't it? Very good.